All right, perfect. We are recording now. Once again, hello, everybody. My name is Rachel Jensen, broker owner of Luna Realty Belize here on the beautiful island of Ambergris Key. Ambergris has been my home for the last 11 years, and it is certainly a place that I am passionate about and love chatting about. So if anybody just wants information generally about what life is like here, feel free to uh, to, to reach out independently, and I'd be happy to get you those sort of details. Today, though, we are focusing on Aruna. Aruna is located on Ambergris Key. It is a new canal front community that is currently under construction. Every month we do these construction updates so you can see what's going on. I know for those folks who are not here physically, sometimes it's a little bit harder to get caught up. So that's the point of these. And then if anybody wants more of an in-depth tour, what we'll be able to do is do a little virtual session. We've done that quite a few times with clients to take a look through Zoom. And then from there, you can see what's going on. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I think I can make my face a little bigger. I'll cut off some of the details, but I think it's important to be able to uh, to see. Alrighty, and uh, let's just jump right in with that being said. So if you are new to the project, I did a whole info session about an hour long about the community here, but really the goal at Aruna is to bring together the ocean and the jungle. And while we are on Ambergris Key, it is a canal front community, but there's going to be incredible landscaping here, very jungle-like landscaping. And then through high quality construction, being able to have your place here in paradise, you can live in your home full time, you can rent it out if you choose to do so, whether it's long term or nightly, but the project is moving along quite nicely and that's what we wanted to show you here. If you again are new, do note that there are some things that are under construction or currently underway, um, the beach club, the sunset pool club, also there's an overwater restaurant that we have some footage of you'll be able to see. Um, Sunset Lounge as well. That'll be the third floor of the structure on the pier. There is high-speed internet that was just installed. Also, if you're in a canal front home, there are private decks overhanging the canals, which makes it an incredible spot for those who like to fish. You can just throw your fishing line right off. And then also king-size beds in every room. With addition to the amenities that are coming, there is going to be uh, quite a few more that will be built with the next phase here. One of them is a work and chill lounge, also a yoga space. I know yoga is very important to people and that wellness spa retreat center area. Um, also there'd be that adventure concierge. So if you're somebody or you're thinking about your guests and you don't wanna have to, if you personally don't wanna have to take care of them in the sense of booking their, booking their tropic flight, booking their excursions, getting a golf cart for them, you don't have to worry about that because that'll all be set up a gym, playground, shops, and kiosks. And the really nice part is when you're coming in pre-construction, you can also give us you know, your feedback too about what it is that you like. And then as we have the space, or if we have the space, we can integrate it in. And uh, some of our new owners at C24, they recommend a pickleball. I know pickleball is a very popular sport. Um, I personally enjoy it as well. And so being able to add a pickleball court is something that we're looking in on our plans here too. So these are some renderings uh, of what we expect and anticipate the amenity area to look like where you have the, the coffee shops and the art, you know, the crafty centers and places for you to just to really come together and enjoy that, enjoy that outdoor space. In Belize, we tend to live outdoors here. And so when you add all this outdoor space, it really just helps to expand have that great experience that we have one here in Belize. So Aruna is located right off uh, of the west side of San Pedro. So if you're B, you see the letter B here. This is San Pedro town. Go across the lagoon over here. It's a five minute boat ride or it's about a 15 minute ride to Secret Beach. Um, it is possible by golf cart to go from Aruna to Secret Beach. And then if you are feeling adventurous, you can always jet down from Secret Beach, follow my cursor jet down over here into town. So that whole ride will probably take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Otherwise you're able to just take the boat. That ferry does go back and forth. This is an area that there is a lot of interest in. I'd say over the last couple of years, we've seen prices in this area for land just increasing quite substantially. There's a lot of development that's happening over here. And a lot of people are looking at it because you're close to town, but you're also far enough away from town. You're not in the craziness of it. Even just from this map here, you can see that it's a little bit more white in San Pedro. That's where you see all the buildings and roads and structures. And then when you get out across the bay, just five minutes, you can still look at town, see the beautiful skyline. However, you're not necessarily in the craziness. So another popular feature about this area is the fishing. It's a popular area for fly fishing. And then also just access, having easy access to the lagoons for additional areas and also the, the secret beach. 
So we're going to just quickly highlight, I'm going to mention to you the construction updates going on in phase one, phase two, and then for those who've been following us for some time, you notice there's a phase three here as well. We have been mapping out our phase three. It is going to look a little bit different than what you see here on the screen. Um, that was just a, a guesstimate about what we were going to do previously, but we are really fine tuning that. I would expect, what is today? Today is the 23rd of June. So I'd expect over the next few weeks to have a more concrete plan for phase three, where I'd be able to share that with you. So if you're looking more in the future for home ownership, understand that there will be more opportunities available after the sellouts here. Um, but of course, prices will likely be higher in phase three than they are in phase one and phase two, just simply because construction costs are always on the rise, it seems. So phase one, phase two, and phase three, we're going to be focusing on phase one and phase two during our conversation here. And then also when I mentioned the pier, you'll hear me talk about the pier and the restaurant and the pool and that whole area. Follow my cursor. That is this area right over here. We're talking about the one on the south side of the property, the pool, restaurant, and lounge. Then you walk right down the boardwalk over here, and then you are entering phase one, and then phase two is there behind it. So with that, let's just jump right in. In uh, the last four weeks, there were a couple more sales, T17, follow my cursor right over here, and our um, six, these two models did sell, sorry, it was R4, and those two models did sell. In addition to that, electricity was brought to the pier. All of the units now have access to high-speed internet, which is huge. I know for a lot of people, especially guest visitors who are coming down, it's important to be able to connect up to Wi-Fi, reach out to people from home, do Zoom meetings, continue business. And so there is now high-speed internet there in phase one area and also including the pool. And then that'll also be brought down to the phase two homes um, as we are seeing that there is the construction there too. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, in that pier area, so you can't really see it because my face is covering it right now, but on the right-hand side that I showed you prior to this slide, uh, the windows and the do doors were installed for the restaurant. So how it works is the first floor is the bar, second floor is the restaurant, third floor is the lounge area. So the second floor, the restaurant area, windows and doors were installed there. In addition to that, the kitchen equipment was shipped over to, uh, to Belize and then therefore thereafter forwarded to the island. So it should be arriving any day now. And then in addition to that delivery of the rest of the furniture that was coming from Belize City, we also had a local woodworker who was here to do the cabinets and the finishes. And so that'll be uh, getting completed as well. So that's all looking really good. And then in addition to that, there was the last four homes in phase one. So follow my cursor, these four homes right over here. Those uh, are under construction. However, I know sometimes and I mentioned this in our last sessions, it's a little hard to physically see if you're here on site, you know, today or tomorrow, the actual construction that's going on because the construction of these last four homes are that prefab steel cut construction methodology, which means that essentially the product is built in, in the factory, the, the steel beams and rods and everything is built in the factory. And it's kind of like a Lego set in a sense, when it comes here, then there's an assembly, but it takes about two months for everything to get completed in the factory, comes out here to the island, gets put up quite quickly in about a month, and then the finishes take about four to five months there afterwards. So uh, do note that that is all coming up. In our last session, we did have photos from the factory, so you can start to see the steel beams and everything, which is quite exciting. And so we do have the delivery of those steel beams coming up in the next few weeks. In addition to that, security systems were installed and then painting the units and the pier. I do have some videos to be able to show you that progress. And then the bathroom and bodega on the pier are also under construction. So a lot happening, a lot also happening behind the scenes or things that you don't necessarily see if you're physically out there, but it's been pretty exciting just to see all of these pieces start to come together. So from one of our last trips out there, um, I got some pictures and, and videos of the progress that we were seeing. And so uh, repainting, touching up the units that were there is something that is being completed. There's one more at this point that needs to get done. And then also they were putting in the piping for the high-speed construction or high-speed internet rather. And so that uh, was completed as well. So very exciting for those of us who do need and want internet when we are at our home. And then just here's a photo I showed this last month as well, but the Aruna sign was installed. So it just gives it more of a feel and confirmation that you know where you are when coming to the island. Uh, in addition to that, this is out on the pier area as well, where you have the pool and the shower, outdoor shower was installed. You can see the fort cottages and then the units behind that. Um, also one of the, the, the boats for the property, it's a pontoon boat. So you'd have access to that when you come down as an owner or as guests. 
And then also this gives you a little bit more perspective about, oh, let me turn that down, um, about the pool. So you can see the pool that was installed. They're working on the exterior land, uh, landscaping, of course, and then the, also the exterior furniture. So this will be more of a fully furnished area with the umbrella, so you have shade. And then also more of those loungers there because the resort is not open at this point. Um, not everything has been put out, but this just gives you a little feel of, of the space. You can see the security cameras that have been installed, uh, but that is throughout the property, which is always reassuring. So I mentioned to you the first floor, this is really the bar area, second floor, the restaurant, and then the third floor, this would be that rooftop space, the rooftop lounge, where you're able to have just really incredible views, 360 views. Uh, you see town on one side, the lagoon, you look around and then you see the canals and it just it truly, truly is stunning. And especially during sunset, I should have put some pictures in here from sunset, but it's just a really stunning location. And the sunsets, if you can follow my cursor in this area over here. So you do have really, uh, really beautiful views. So here's some more from the interior of the pier. And this is the restaurant more on the second floor over here to be able to, to just give you some feedback. And then there is a canal front studio that is available. This is R3, if anybody is interested in that. Uh, this, I think, is a great model for somebody who's looking to capture an affordable property in the rental market. It does not have a full bathroom, a full kitchen, rather. It does have a full bathroom, doesn't have a full kitchen. It's a kitchenette that would be in this area over here. Um, so you do have that space there. We have a mini fridge and a microwave and a coffee pot. But if you're looking to relocate, uh, this would, might not be the right unit for you because it doesn't have that full kitchen. You can always add a full kitchen to it. Uh, would you have somebody who's doing that right now in this space over here? So you can always have it be more of a, a full-time living space should you choose. But I'd say that this is probably more so geared towards the rental market. Here's some interior photos of the, the layout. And as you can see from the bed, you're looking directly out there onto the canals and have some really nice lagoon views. These start at 240, including the furniture, which is quite substantial. And then in addition to that, there is developer financing. If financing is something that is important to you, one point that I do want to mention here, and I'm going to go back, is actually uh, the interior space. You know, it's quite cozy at about 350 square feet. I think that having the windows and doors around the unit make it feel even bigger because you're inviting nature in. However, the big draw, I would say, to this specific property, R3, is the fact that it's on the canal. So again, just throw that fishing line right in. Or um, you don't have to necessarily fish, but you can still enjoy the outdoor space here. And you can see tons of decking space. There are the loungers, the outdoor table, where you can really just be away from the heart of downtown, but really enjoy the San Pedro experience. All right, so the next one, I'm actually going to make my face a little bit smaller here so that you can read what we have here. So this other model that's available within the phase one area, this is the, the Gardens Sky 6 model. It's a studio duplex, or it can be a true one bedroom. Uh, this, I think, is a no-brainer for real estate investors. Essentially, you're getting two studios um, for under 300,000 furniture is included in that. There's tons of outdoor space here. This uh, that you'll see is actually one of the optional add-ons if you want that rooftop veranda. They have started in the factory to do the, the, the beams and everything. And if you do want to have that rooftop space, now is the time to let us know that so we can make sure that's added for you. But it's a really unique concept. I think it is the duplex. You can stay on one side, you can rent out the other, rent out both sides you know, keep both sides to yourself if you want to do that. Or if you actually wanted to convert one side to more of a living room space, uh, uh, indoor kitchen, you can do that. I would recommend that where it says unit B, I would recommend this side over here and then have the unit A side be your living space. But it is two full bathrooms. Uh, if you keep it as is where it's the duplex model, there's the kitchen that's there, two full bathrooms. And then the, this option here, we had somebody who's looking to do closet space versus the connecting door. Uh, but they did modify it a little bit where they were able to just keep follow my cursor, keep this as the closet and then put a connecting door here and then keep a kitchenette here and then no dedicated closet space and where it says unit B here, but they have that, that unit um, and they have owner lockout in unit A should they choose to keep personal space here. So the benefit is that when you decide to become an owner and especially during that pre-construction phase, you have a little bit more flexibility in customizing and really having it be what you like. But I would say, because this is really under construction at this point, um, sooner rather than later is ideal for you to get in touch with us. But these are about 300,000 for two units there. And then here are some of the additional upgrades. If that's something that's important to you, I mentioned to that rooftop space, which is significant. I think this is a real, a real no brainer in a sense, because then you have the water views, you still have the bay views, the 
the canal views, and you also have sunrise and set sunset views from the rooftop here, which this option is not available on the canal front side, just on the garden side. So a real advantage there. Also, if you do want to add a rooftop wet bar or you want to add an outdoor kitchen, you are certainly able to do so. This is model R11, and it is the Sky 6 model on the garden side. So here you can see some more of the updates. And actually, even on this model here, the owner who was doing the outdoor kitchen changed it up a little bit. They added a full refrigerator. And then in addition to that, they added a dishwasher. So it is possible, again, customized based on what it is you're looking to accomplish. And then here's an example of the wet bar on the rooftop there. So enjoy your cocktails, enjoy the sunset, enjoy the sunrise, whatever time you enjoy waking up at and really getting to, uh, to utilize the space. For phase two, the foundation work for the Kokora tiny homes, and I'm actually gonna move myself here, hopefully this will move for you guys too, but the Kokora tiny homes on the top right that has been completed. The material to start the construction, I mentioned to you again, that the prefab steel cut construction of the steel beams that is expected to be here by July 4th. And then two additional crews are coming in order to get those homes up and uh, going vertical. And that's over the next couple of weeks to get in preparation for that for the materials coming. So then really exciting. And then these two larger homes, um, they are also beginning construction. One of them, we're just going through some change orders. So as soon as that's finalized, then we'll be able to get started on the construction there. So very exciting. Here are some photos we got there. And I uh, gosh, I mean, timing was unbelievable in a sense. We got there over to Aruna. It wasn't raining. We walked into one of the units and then started pouring, pouring. So we got to enjoy at least a beautiful space while it was raining, but you do see some of the photos are a little, are a little wet, but uh, here are some of the foundation for the phase two Kokora tiny homes. And then again, into that phase two. So if you can follow myself back up here in the corner, if you can follow my cursor here, so this box, this area is where the tiny homes are located. These are the Kokora tiny homes. I'll give you more details in just a minute, but I do wanna point out two specific locations, T9 and T6, T9 and T6. I do wanna mention this here specifically because we have decided to adapt the Itzamana model here into that location so that you are able to choose a model starting that starts at 179.9, so let's say 180. So it's just that, that step below Kokora in terms of size, but it has everything that you need in order to function if you wanted to live there full time. It has the full kitchen, obviously has the bathroom, has the washer dryer hookup, has hot water, of course, has storage for an owner lockout should you want that. The pool is not included in this price, um, but you are able to add it. Just feel free to reach out to us if you want the pool and we can get those numbers over to you. But I'm going to just go back one more time because this we got a lot of interest in this model. However, it did already sell in the previous location. So we are permitting folks to put in either T6 or T9. And then we have had somebody um, who wanted a rooftop space. And if you are in T6 or T9, I would say T9 may be the better location for it if you wanted to add a veranda above. And then from there, have beautiful rooftop view. So you can add a veranda, see where this roof is right over here for the porch. Um, and you know, it looks you know, not like it'd be sturdy enough right now to be able to make it a rooftop, but if you did upgrade, you would be able to have that rooftop space right there. So these are the standard two bedroom models that we have right now in the phase two section, Kokora Tiny Home. This is what I was mentioning to you before, the Tula model and the Udara model. The Tula is a two bedroom, two bath. Udara is a three bedroom, two bath. Um, I think these are really incredible value. These three models right here come with solar systems. It's a hybrid system. So solar, you use the solar during the day, connect up to the grid at night. Um, but those systems alone cost a pretty penny for sure. In addition to that, there are furniture packages that you are able to add. If you do want to have uh, furniture already picked out for you, it's not required unless you want to be in the rental program. But I do find these to be a very comprehensive, all-inclusive price, especially for what you're getting. And the other thing I want to mention is in the Tula and the Udara, the larger two and three better models over here, that lap pool, that plunge pool that you see is actually included in the purchase price as well. So uh, really nice. Again, I'm going through a lot of information here, but just reach out to us if you want more of the details and also to see availability because there's even a lot more to share with you. But here are some of the interiors of the Kokora model. There will be the shiplap finishes there on the wall to give it more of that rustic mo rustic modern look, we'll say that Tulum feel, uh, as you can see from the interiors. And we did have one uh, person who chose the Kokora model who was looking to do a half bath upstairs 
So that is possible if that's something that's of interest to you. Uh, the bed would have to be a smaller bed, you know, either clean or full in order to make that happen. But it is certainly possible if it's important for you to have a bathroom upstairs. Here's the interior of the Tula. This is the two bed, two bath. Here you can see it has the full kitchen. Uh, for the folks who chose the Tula model, they actually decided to opt out of having the table and put an island in instead, which is that's something that's important to you. You can certainly do that as well. And then the Udara, it's a very similar layout. They just added an extra bedroom. But again, you can take out that, that kitchen set there and put in an island if that is important. And then last but not least, I just do want to highlight upon phase three. So I mentioned to you over the next few weeks, we hope to have that site map ready for you to look at. Uh, the, some of the models will be similar to what we have in phase one, phase two. Some of them will be different, but do anticipate for the prices to be higher in phase three than they are in phase one and phase two, uh, just because construction costs and materials have, have certainly gone up since the pricing for phase one and phase two was, was done. So reach out if you would like more information. Our next update session is going to be July 21st. That's a Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'll send out the link in the email that's sent out after this with the recording. But we do hope uh, you join us for that, or even better, just reach out to us for a virtual session. Our email address, info at lunarealtybelize.com, info at lunarealtybelize.com. Be happy to show you the progress there on Zoom and uh, for you to walk through the, the site and see everything that's going on. All right, everyone. Again, my name is Rachel Jensen. Happy to, uh, to be chatting with you today and hope to hear from you soon. Bye, everyone.